everyone, drop shipping or wholesale? Which one is for you? Hang tight and hopefully by the end of this video, you will know which business model works better for you. So let's go over some advantages and some downsides both of these business models have. So let's start with the advantages of drop shipping. One, there's no need to buy inventory upfront or store it. You don't need to buy the inventory upfront or facilitate storage, package it or ship it. Two, a drop shipping business is easy to set up. It's easy to get up and running. Basically, you just need internet connection and a computer. You can actually click here to watch a full guide on how to start a drop shipping business. You can use Zeek Analytics to find winning products from many different suppliers. And the link to Zeek is in the description. Three, flexibility and a wide array of products. A drop shipping business can be managed from anywhere in the world, offering you flexibility and where you work. You also have flexibility over which products you can sell. You're simply listing what other suppliers have to sell, allowing you to test out what works with your customers and what doesn't work so well. Four, dropshipping is scalable. In a dropshipping business, it's your suppliers that are bearing the burden of increased volumes and order processing. You can open multiple stores on eBay, for example, and you don't really have to hire more people for it while your suppliers do the hard work behind the scenes. Five, Zeke's competitor research. It's true. There is a lot of competition out there, but you can see your competitors best selling items with Zeke's competitor research tool. This tool gives you an advantage from your competitors and saves you a lot of time. For more information on how to use this tool, check out this video. Now let's go over some advantages of wholesaling. One, more discount and allowance. Wholesalers buy large quantities of goods from manufacturers. They can receive cash discount and quantity discount because of buying in bulk. It helps to reduce buying cost and increase profit. So wholesale business enjoys the benefit of large scale buying. Two, profit margin is fixed. Wholesalers do not need to worry about the profit because they earn a fixed rate of profit. So they should try to increase sales volume, which helps to increase earnings. Three, you definitely have less competition. Wholesalers face less competition than dropshippers because each wholesaler deals with a specific product line from a certain producer. So in turn, there is less competition because of a limited product line and fewer number of wholesalers. Four, it's scalable. Wholesaling business is also very scalable. You have to be able to adapt to changing market demands, increase profit margins as demand from customers and orders grow and move towards automation and a shorter process. Five, Zeke's competitor research and more. You can use Zeke Analytics to find great suppliers and see niches in demand, which will ensure you have a safer investment when buying in bulk. Look guys, retailers cannot buy large quantities of products because of the lack of capital. Producers cannot sell small quantities of their products to each and every retailer in the market. So, Wholesaling plays a great role to bridge the gap between manufacturers and retailers. Now, let's go over the disadvantages of each business model. So let's start with the cons of drop shipping. One can be more expensive than traditional retail. 
you can have low profit margins. This is something you will need to seriously consider in your planning. Do you increase your prices, potentially scaring away new or loyal customers? Or should your margins take a bit of a hit at first before you have the loyal following behind you, allowing you to slowly increase your prices over time? Two, limited control over quality and branding. One of the biggest cons for some dropshippers is damage control, quality of the product, or shipment quality issues. You never actually see all the orders you are selling. In dropshipping, it can be hard to satisfy customers. Trying to handle customer service issues as an in-between can get stressful as you don't have full control. It should be a priority on your dropshipping business. Four, tracking inventory can be tough. As soon as you start introducing multiple warehouses and selling from different suppliers, keeping an eye on stock can be tough to do. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of wholesaling. One, it requires capital to start. It requires sufficient funds to buy a large volume of goods. Adequate level of stock should be maintained to avoid shortage of product in the market. Two, you're gonna need more space. It requires more space to store large quantity of goods. Wholesalers need to spend money on storing expenses due to high commercial rent. And three, possibility of loss. If the items don't sell, you might find yourself stuck with products. All right, our loyal viewers, has this video helped you to come close to making your decision on what your next financial move is? Do you have any questions regarding the topic? If so, let us know by commenting down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get updates on all new video releases. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.